Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose and today we are finally, after months and months of renovating this 2002 Sunlight Camper, we're taking it out on the road across the country. It has been a long time coming. So many issues, so many struggles. It's not perfect still, but it's good enough to go. I'm exhausted. It took the whole first half of the day just packing this thing up. I'm in Pennsylvania. The goal today is to stop in Youngstown get a drone because I ordered a drone new one finally I needed it in this new series of I don't know going out west 2.0 doing crazier bigger better things <laughs> let's do this for the first time um, if you're new here this is my Toyota Tundra 2011 I did a lot of work on this too to get it up to par I very recently just had to get the tie rods replaced a couple days ago and then we got an oil change and everything cleaned and filled and all that. So this is my this is my camper. And we're gonna just drive off into the sunset. But there is no sun today. It's very gloomy actually. Let me show you a couple things that I added to the truck and the camper to make it all cohesive and go together and make it safe. Added tow mirrors so you can see out back a lot easier. Also added this bad boy to where you can see behind because we had to take the tailgate off, which also freed up some space. And then we have some major organization in the back. We took the back seats out to save some weight and added in these. There's lots of snacks and just, uh, there's so much stuff. Then I got the best of the best tie downs. This Happy Jack tie down torque lift frame mount. There's some badass chains there, back camera solid on there. Now, of course, you never know what's going to go wrong until things go wrong. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of things to figure out while we're on the road, but you can't, you can prepare as much as possible, but sometimes you just don't know everything. So you just got to leave sometimes. And now it's time to leave. Finally, I've been here in Pennsylvania for so, so long. Also, I never, I never sold Yuki, my Yuki, the Jeep that I took out the last time. She's ready for the next adventure. We're driving. We're going. I have someone here with me that's driving right now. So I'll tell you about that later in the next video or this video, I don't know yet. But everything seems pretty secure so far. We just took out the took off out of the driveway. With this screen, you can just see the road behind you, which is kind of cool. We're not really gonna make it very far today. I don't even know where we're sleeping yet. So I need to research that. Probably at some sort of sketchy place because there's really no dispersed camping, free campsites from here to, Ohio. <laughs> I did not want to have to stay in Ohio at all, but plans change. So we'll uh, calculate now how much gas this is going to use. I don't want to know really, but we're going to see it quite drastically, I think. Alrighty, folks, we've been driving for an hour and we've used about a quarter tank of gas, which isn't too bad. I expected a lot worse. But we are driving on Pennsylvania, well, we're in Ohio now, so it's very flat roads. Uh, it'll fluctuate, but we're at Best Buy. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, so I'm really excited right now because as you guys may have known, I've been wanting a new drone for a couple years and I'm finally today getting one for this adventure. We're in Youngstown right now. We're just gonna pick this up and then continue on our way. But this is the first stop to our adventure out west. And our mission is to get over to Oregon all the way across the country, then go down the California coast and go into Mexico. That is the plan. That is our objective. We will see. But let's get this drone first. Okay, let's do a little unboxing of the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I went with the 4 Pro. Look at me being a little tech influencer. I went with the 4 Pro because it's the latest one and it has the, all the features I want. Plus it's this, around the same Price as the 3 Pro for some reason. It has more features. So this is it. Worth it. Look at all those sensors. Oh, it looks like a little robot. And then I also sp spent a little bit more to get a controller that I don't have to hook my phone up to because that got really annoying. And I had to manually do all my drone shots. That's why they look amateur because they're bad quality. And with this, it's going to be, well, hopefully I don't crash it, but it's going to be a whole nother that controller <laughs> wow we're gonna drive around like two and a half more hours to get to around maybe Columbus Ohio
We have been driving for a while now. We made some way through Ohio, not out of Ohio, but I put in, I use iOverlander to, to try and find like free camp sites and they're always like such random places and especially here in Ohio because there's really not a lot here in the East Midwest area uh, in terms of free camping. So we're just pulling up to some sort of boat parking place. So hopefully we can even camp there. And I definitely want to pop the top and try and sleep up there. So we'll see if this place exists. We're just driving at night. This is our first time for everything in this camper. So I'm extra anxious. There we go. Nobody's here. Perfect. And it's level. So this is the first time that I'll be sleeping in this camper. I've never slept in it yet. So I wanted to wait until we're actually like out to sleep in it. And it might get a little cold tonight. All right. I turned the lights on in here. I'm still crouching because we need to razor up now yeah, like i'm so tired i have to pee really bad and yeah usually i don't travel at nighttime that's just the carbon monoxide alarm saying it's good to go <clears throat> this thing is still a pain but not as much of a pain as it was <laughs> my life is really really random <laughs> It's so nice that you can actually take this out. I'm gonna set up for sleeping. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to wash my face just in the sink. I'm still gonna use like a baby wig because I don't wanna use all the water. Oh, I forgot to bring face wash. Well, body soap it is. I definitely need to find my groove and routine. This is not it. Okay, look. Blue lights. That looks weird, actually. The ceiling looks really bumpy. Because it is. Okay, so I'm in bed now, which is so incredibly comfy. Look at this. Wake up and see where we're actually at, because I don't know where we're at. The window is right there, right there, and right there. So, I'm ready for bed. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep tonight. I think I'm going to put my fan on. Um, it's really nice having electricity, but probably shouldn't run it through the night. Good night. Ugh. It's all condensation. <laughs> Good morning. It's loud in here because the heat's on. It is 6.39, so I didn't get any sleep last night. I've never slept in a camper on top of, uh, I don't know what you call this thing, this, this type of bed. I just know how bad the wood is on this camper, so I just thought it was gonna crack. I know that's unrealistic, but whenever you're sleeping in a new place, I haven't done the camping out in the nowhere lifestyle for a while, so I'm just like hyper aware and just, I'm just tired. It's time to get up and have some coffee and espresso. Got this out in espresso maker for my wish list, and it's really, really, really handy. So it makes little espressos, just like that. But it uses less of the power if you just heat the water yourself. So if we heat the water and then put it in there. Mm. Espresso time. I like a good organic coffee these days. Put the hot water in here and push this twice. And that's how you make espresso. But today we want to try and make it to Nashville, Tennessee. My camera is about to die because I didn't charge it properly. So I'll see you when we get back on the road and I'm able to like get myself together for the day. Okay, so I did a very light makeup and if it looks like I did it in the dark, it's because I did. It's finally just starting to get light. It doesn't get light out until like eight. It's not eight yet, it's 
739. So yeah, it's not even laid out yet. And we're all secured and now we just gotta roll it down and roll on out. Driving. We just came out of Cincinnati. We're driving towards Louisville. We're in Kentucky now, obviously. And we're headed today to get to Nashville. So I went ahead and I booked an RV campground. This is the first one. Well, I mean, I've stayed at them a long time ago, but this is the first one for this. We'll see how that goes. So everything is going quite smoothly. Like even driving it is, it's not that bad. It's not that big of a difference. Um, gas mileage is bad, but not as bad as I thought it would be. So, and then we're going like 65 in a 70, which is fine. We are in Tennessee. We made some great ground today. And we're at our first RV park with this camp. See, it's right outside of Nashville. And it was the cheapest one that was available that I could find. And maybe set up Starlink tonight. It depends on how good their Wi-Fi is. But I have to do that as well. When you stay at RV parks, you guys don't know you get water hookup and you get electricity hookup. And a lot of times Wi-Fi, they have bathhouses, showers. So it's gonna be great to have a shower. And you just pull it out and plug it in. We're gonna crank up the top and then home is set up. So now I just need to unlock the door. We stopped at the grocery store. So we're gonna have a nice little healthy meal tonight because I'm so tired of snacks. But let's get her all set up and I'll show you. Good morning, I have the heater on, just got up. I've been up the whole night editing, trying to get this video uploaded and I was trying to use the Wi-Fi at this campground, but the internet is not working as per usual, but we have Starlink, so I'm gonna set that up right now so I can get this video uploaded on time for you guys. These are the directions, seems pretty simple, no words, just pictures, so that's kind of nice. I'm not gonna film much from this uh, RV park, but it was a nice day. I slept a tiny, tiny bit, but I just don't have a lot of time, so I need to like, it, and then we need to go check out at 11. It's been a stressful morning. Starlink wasn't fast enough for me to <laughs> upload the video. So I had to sit next to the, the main area at this RV place just to upload my video. It's still uploading, so we had to check out and I'm just sitting here finishing my makeup because I haven't even been able to do that today and eating these because I didn't get any breakfast either. <laughs> and I'm feeling very overwhelmed, so I'm a little disappointed the Starlink but hopefully we'll be able to figure that out and see why it's not fast enough. I thought it was supposed to be super fast. I'm sure it'll work better in the West where we're headed to. Have you seen the eyes of Pan? Have you heard the cry of pain? Have you felt the aching hunger and tears falling like rain? Can you find hope for tomorrow? Here I am in downtown Nashville. This is crazy. It's crazier than New York City even. Like, it's intense. Um, glad I didn't come here like at night time or the weekend because it's just a normal Sunday and it's uh, there's a it's overstimulating. I haven't seen people my age or been out around people this much in a very, very long time. So uh, a couple hours here is enough for me. a camping spot, a free camping spot in Arkansas. We've been making so much ground. I've not been doing as much driving as I should, but it's fine. <laughs> There's a lot of bugs. We're in like the middle of a forest and I'm trying to put the um, Starlink up and see if it will work because it didn't work properly this morning. It was very stressful. So I'm gonna figure that out. I'm just gonna chill today. I've spent too much. I just need to rest and I'll get back at you guys. It's very lovely and beautiful. It was a very peaceful night with all the sounds of nature but the problem here is that there are so many bugs very itchy so we we're like should we stay in Arkansas and, you know do some stuff here 
at the end of the day, we decided to move on towards the west where there's no bugs and also just bigger skies. You know, we've, it's, it's like gonna be in the 80s today. It's great weather, beautiful, but at the same time, we're just gonna keep moving. We're moving quite fast. I am. We stayed at this RV park last night in Arkansas just because we needed somewhere quick to stay. It's $36 a night and it's very loud, a lot of highway noise, but you know, it did the job. We got electricity and showers. So time to move on and finally get out of Arkansas because it's, I can't say it's my favorite state in the world. Time. What is the harm? There's no crime. Texas. I'm at the Cadillac Ranch. There's just a bunch of painted Cadillacs, but we're making our way towards uh, Albuquerque now. And this is where we're like the destination, the first like main destination is. We're going to go up. Well, we're going to see some of Albuquerque, but then we're going to go up and see like these really cool rock formations that I've been wanting to go to. We've had to get a hotel because there's like a bunch of wind storms and things. We're going to try to find an RV park tonight um, around Albuquerque, I'd say. In my Finally, the destination, well, the first destination, we have kind of flown through all these USA states because I've kind of already showed you multiple times my road trips back and forth across America. And to me, it's not that interesting. So I'm just powering through all of it. But we have made a lot of ground in, I don't even know how many days it's been, but we made a lot of ground very quickly. It is cold. <laughs> it's gonna be cold guys for a little bit. But my plan is to go down California and into Mexico. So we're gonna be warm again. So let's make dinner. All right, I am hungry for some real food. I'm having a lot of snack food. So come on in. So let's see what we have food wise. We've got some shower tokens for this RV park. I've had to do RV parks because I just started my period. This is why I haven't been filming as much too. And it's just easier for me to have a bathroom TMI, but I am still learning to use like this disc cup thing and I don't know how to do that yet in the wilderness. So <laughs> I know that sounds strange, but we have a lot of things to use up. I got some bananas, these avocados need to be used up. I have a lime. I've been actually having really healthy dinners every night. Cooking in this kitchen is actually really, really nice. Like I'm very surprised that nothing has gone bad so far. Nothing is broken. If it keeps making it, we can get down to Mexico, which is our goal and maybe South America. I don't know. I did make a mistake and I got kimchi. Do not recommend for campers. <laughs> it really stinks the place up. So today we're gonna have steamed broccoli, but we have some mushrooms that really need to be used. <laughs> All that needs to be probably fried. Sweet potato fries, which were absolutely delicious. You just um, steam them and then fry them. Kind of wilty asparagus will also steam that as well. <laughs> we have a lot to use actually. We're gonna make some fried eggs for protein. So that's what we're having for supper so I'm going to start getting this already because I'm hungry. Looking good. Doo -doo -doo. Egg. Veggies potato. I made a lot just so we can have, maybe love have leftovers, I don't know. You can be healthy and cook in a camper. We're in Old Town Albuquerque and we're gonna get some coffee here. This is the original town and it's a lot more, it has a lot more character I'd say. So it was found in the early 1700s by the Spanish. So to end this video off, we're going to kind of look at some Breaking Bad stuff, like where they filmed things, the blue candy right here, 
because that was a really good show. It was one of my favorite uh, TV shows ever. And we're here, so we might as well, if you guys are interested in that. So in that store, they have dime bags and distribution bags where they give you a bunch of little baggies so you can distribute. It just seems very strange and wrong, but it's really funny. So there you go, that's the candy version. No, this is like what they actually use in the movie. This is another place in Breaking Bad where Jesse sells the crystal. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. <laughs> so it's also reoccurred in the different episodes. So we're just gonna go in. It's an actual establishment. That is that. <laughs> People always ask why I'm saying we all the time. I will explain that in the next video. I'm gonna end this video here. I didn't get many drone shots because it's been very windy and I don't wanna fly my new drone in the wind. We just left Albuquerque today. So we're now venturing into all the really beautiful areas that are my favorite. I hope you'll come along. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.